Coming up on this episode of Press This, we look at live fire, discuss, and jetpack comments. Which one's better for the developer, and which one is better for the end user? Hey everyone, welcome to another amazing episode of Press This. I'm your host Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. Have always said a pleasure. that in some time. Yeah, I know. What Last is the show all about? If you're the first time stumbling upon us on the old internet, it's a show where we take some of the awesome WordPress stuff, compare it, talk about it, head to head thing. That's what we do. That's who we are. And uh, where are you going to find us, Matt? Where are you going to find us? Slocumstudio.com. Slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Join the mailing list so we can email you some awesome stuff that we have going on. Hit subscribe on YouTube. We want to hit 10,000 crazy fans. Uh, so if you love WordPress, if you're running a business with WordPress and this stuff is useful, let us know. Now, we always start the episode by saying we compare plugins or themes and things like that. But I think it's been quite a while since we actually got down and compared a couple plugins. Mm, I agree. I agree. And today we will. Today we're going to change and that. Today so, we will. So today we're going to talk about commenting plugins. So a really important thing with uh, in kind of creating your website is not alienating your your user, right? And we've talked a lot about sort of like UX and stuff like that, and, and you just you know user interfaces and whatnot, and kind of making it easy to navigate. But I think that one of the one of the things that's overlooked often is commenting, because when you look at like a WordPress a standard just posting a comment on WordPress, you go in there to comment, you leave your email or you log into the wordpress.org. And it's just a really, really sort of messy way to leave a comment on something that will eventually get you an answer to a question you may have. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's also important if you're running a WordPress site to decide what you're going to do with the comment content, mm -hmm. right? Because that's like another source mm -hmm. of, of discussion, feedback. feedback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, you can have people posting almost full on blog articles in your comments sometimes yeah. if they're, you know, they're passionate right. uh, mm -hmm. to do that. So we're going to look at these three today, right? Yep. So the three we're going to look at are live fire comments three from live fire discus comment system from discus. And of course we can't leave jetpack out jetpack being the most popular plugin created by the guys who design WordPress uh, automatic. Um, and specifically within that plugin, the section for jetpack comments. Mm -hmm. So, Let's start with live fire comments. Sure. So I, I want to oh, hear yeah. your your point of view on uh, on sort of the users and like installing this stuff and kind of mm -hmm. working with it and yeah. some of the troubles and, and 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 positives that you had using this stuff. Sure. I'm going to talk about sort of from the developing side, awesome. the stuff that we run into. Great. So let's just go through the list then, um, and I'll kind of talk about the installation stuff. Sure. So with these comment plugins, they all tap into some sort of, you know, either caching system or a system where they take all of your comments that you had before and kind of marry them with the new comments you get and allow you to track things, kind of do live posting and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, so with any of them, they're going to require a login. So LiveFire has 87,000 downloads. It's only been out since March, so it's a relatively new one. It is comments three, though, so I assume that instead of just updating one plugin, they just release... New ones. Uh, they've been around for a while, so I think maybe they've they've forked their plugins, yeah, um, and now they're starting fresh. But LiveFire right. has been around right. probably right. I think before Discuss, so right. I, I'm not really sure on that. But sure, but they have 4.1 out of five stars, as does Discuss. Um, they have over a million downloads though with Discuss, um, and they were last updated at the beginning of the year, so they're haven't updated in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Jetpack, of course, 6.5 million downloads, the most downloaded plugin. Um, mm -hmm. Now WordPress. this is Jetpack. Just to oh to, yes, yeah. to reiterate that this is comment system in Jetpack. Within so Jetpack, yeah. it's sort of using core WordPress comments. Yes, um, and I guess the fourth alternative to all of this is use none and yep. just stick with your WordPress commenting system. Right, and I will say because Jetpack is built in using the same people who made WordPress, they kind of have a leg up on the competition right. automatically. Right. So it's, so for my money, and, and it's going to be true for anybody, Jetpack's um, plugin, Jetpack comment, comments is going to have the easiest setup. You log in with your WordPress.com uh, accounts, um, you get in there, and uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> you have your functionality. Mm -hmm. You can log in with Facebook. You can log in with Twitter. And this is important for, for other folks. So if mm -hmm. you, you, know, you stumble upon uh, somebody's website and you want to comment, you don't have to sit there and give your email out or log in with WordPress. Like, mm -hmm. what the hell is WordPress? I just wanted to know what the best pizza sauce was. Mm -hmm. um, 
you can now go and go to Facebook or Twitter and log in that way and yeah. post. I guess it's also important to say why, like, why are we, do we have to log in with these mm -hmm. third party services? Why can't we just have a username and password? Why do we have to log in at all? Well, of course, that's because of spam and we want to validate mm -hmm. whether or not you are who you say you are. Yeah. Um, for just the spam, for the integrity of, of the comment and all that good stuff. Live Fire and Discuss um, are definitely doing this and creating like their own social network yes. with these profiles. They, they that's some yeah. of the challenges you kind of ran into. That's going to be some of the challenge. So you do have your Live Fire account and they really want to push that. Mm -hmm. When you look at your comment, they want you to use your Discus login or Discus, I keep calling it Discus because that's the way it's spelled. The, your Discus login or your Live Fire login, they really push it, you know, um, for, for folks that are just coming on something on your website. Oh, you might want to create a, uh, a discuss or a live fire account to, to right. join. Right. And um, they, and they're doing that because it's, it's like, I, I'll go back to the social media thing because you can star comments, you can like comments, yes. you can follow people, yes. you can do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I get email summaries from discuss like every morning from like the top sites that I comment yep. on and mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. Yep. And you can still share that stuff. Um, between them, kind of talking about inst installing with either Live Fire or Discuss, you create an account with them, verify, it, and then you're good to go that way. Um, as far as functionality, did you want to talk from the developer end first, or do you want me to kind of go into some of the functionality? No, you from can. A user you can go first? through your user okay. stuff. So, and we'll have pictures for all these for you too. Um, so basically, with Live Fire, um, the way they the way they design it, you have your sign in. You can post from Facebook or Twitter, um, but they have a really cool sort of sort of like thing here. So if you have a live fire account, and again, this taps into the, you should create a live fire account kind of thing. You can follow people. So if you really like what people are saying in comments, you can actually follow them. And this is across the live fire system, right? Uh, so it can be on different websites, different things like that, as long as they have the same live fire account, because this isn't just for WordPress and it isn't just for your website. This is for a global live fire. Right. Account. If you fall on right. a Drupal site somewhere on the web and they use live fire, you comment there, you can track all that stuff. You can also immediately reply to people in in the kind of the, the, the thread with uh, the at symbol. It's going to be at the bottom left of that, and we'll, again, we'll have the picture for you. Um, or you can they have some more like sort of wordy word esque or um, even built into WordPress uh, implementation with bold italics list items or numbered list items as well. Gives you some formatting. So it gives you some formatting options too in your post, which is really really cool. Um, my favorite, I will tell you, because um, we do have to ultimately come up with that too, was Discuss between the three. I just thought it had the cleanest interface for commenting. And again, we'll have the image down there for you. Um, you can also log in with your Google Plus account. So that gives you another option to log in with, as well as, of course, the Discuss account that they want you to do. Um, but what's really cool about it is they do a very, very good job of kind of providing you with a very easy way to navigate. If you're not somebody who's into web design, you're just commenting on a blog post, right? So they have share buttons right there. Um, they have a set, a very basic settings tool, which is very easy to get into. Um, they actually tell you like top discussions and things like that. So if you really like what you're reading there, you can go to other places on this website and see where the discussions are. Um, they have a full on picture importing system. So you can drag and drop or go right into your folders and browse and import photos into your comments. Um, a lot, a lot of really cool stuff. Mm. I really enjoyed it it's there. It's like content publishing for comments, right? Yeah. It's like all this stuff yeah. that you can do. And and beyond that even, um, Discuss for, for My Money had the sort of the, and this might, you might, this might be a good segue for you. Um, first thing I will say is they have a moderation dashboard built right into WordPress. So you can log in to your Discuss account in WordPress and moderate comments that way using their service, kind of use that for like sort of your inbound marketing lead generation purposes. As well as for me, they had the most extensive feature set for settings. So if you want to tweak your your um, the way comments are posted, how you imported or exported things, you could do that as well. Nice. Uh, so that is a good se segue talking about the kind of built-in discuss stuff. Right. That's the stuff I don't like. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I just don't need that extra overhead. Right. and. Right. When Discuss came out, it was a great, super lean, mean alternative for comments, right? And comment machine. Comment machine. And why would you want to do that? Like, what is the point? The point is, number one, you want to offload anything to do with spam mm -hmm. and user authentication. Right. You just don't want to have to deal with that on your site, right? right? Um, and then you want to be able to have people log in with, you know, uh, other social networks. So yeah. you want them to log in. They don't want to give you your email or something like that. Yeah. They can use Twitter. And that was fun, but this has become like... 
a content comment management system on within itself. Yeah. A lot of sites use it. We use it on some client sites when they when they ask for it. Right. Um, but under the hood, this thing loads a ton of stuff. And I will tell you that I was afraid. And I'm gonna not. This is not my developer end, but I can tell you that when I went to discuss his website to create my account, right, uh, and share all this and register it. This also had the hardest registration process. I'll note out of the three of them, the most you had to verify it, and then you had to uh, authorize your website. Livefire didn't require that. But I will tell you, when I logged in, the Discuss website loaded, and it was like, oh, my God. Right. There was, like, iconography, and it was, like, <laughs> a video game happening on yeah. their website. And my, you know, my browser was like, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, this is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what it happens when it loads uh, every time on the, on the site, uh, matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you I didn't know. notice it spun a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. so there, there's, there's all these issues with having to, like, load all these mm -hmm. external scripts to yeah. so that this whole... Yeah powerful system will load in your comment section right. of your site um hey look if if you don't want to deal with comments or you're somebody who's out there and you're like you know what i want people to be able to i want to be part you just have to ask yourself do i want my my people coming to my site to be part of the discuss platform yeah so look at your business do the are the people coming to my site to leave comments are they going to other sites using this stuff right if they are consider it right. if they're not um, I wouldn't use it, you know, now we're using Jetpack, um, and right. you, you also want to be able to own that content. Yeah. Um, because what you're kind of doing is you're kind of giving up that access to right. comments when you give, uh, the, these people, uh, the power to hold your comments. Right. So something happens to your discuss account or your live fire account. You don't have your comments anymore. Right. They've been imported to that account. They've been right imported now. onto yeah. that platform. You you just don't have them. Right. right. And I'm I'm sure there's probably an export process. Good luck finding it. Just like you can't find your export process for Facebook. Like actually, export. That's the so the discuss had the export in the settings. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't yeah. buried I, within the. It was not. Right. It actually was pretty visual. Live fire couldn't find that anywhere. But yeah. So that so that's the other thing you want to consider. But still, it's another thing. Yeah. Right. That's the other thing. So if you wanted your comments to be able to be indexed by Google and just you just want to know that you have pure access to your to your comments. Mm -hmm. To me, I'd stick with either core WordPress comments or hook it up with Jetpack, um, which they're probably scraping some of that data too, but yeah, uh, I'm sure at, they are. at least you know it's WordPress and right. they're not going to go away with your comments. It's ultimately soon. still attached to your account right. at the end of the day. You're right. not losing it to anyone else. Right. So that's what I, my, my recommendation is Jetpack comments. Sure. Um, that's why I use them on my site. And we actually still use Discuss on the Slocum site only because a lot of other people still use it yeah. in other areas. So, Which is great. Um, I like Discuss the most because of how kind of visually, again, this all is a overload on your, on your website, but because of how visual it was, how many options you had to log in with and how kind of easy it was to navigate through the comments. Um, but nice. it is a, it is a beast of a... <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> of a package. So I now. think, is this like, maybe like only the second or third time we've actually decided on one that we actually really like, and we're both picking two different ones. Yeah. And I still liked, like I liked, Live Fire is probably the Liar. odd, what's that? <laughs> Live Fire is, is still kind of like odd man out, I think, because I think it's kind of stuck in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Um between these two plugins. Mm -hmm. I do like Jetpack for the same reasons you like it. Again, personally, again, and we've talked before on the web, the show about how I use Headway with my website. And I think that's very much a similar sort of um, proposition to what Discuss is where I'm giving up sort of some of that page load speed um, for the visual drag and drop functionality and ease of use. Absolutely. So Good stuff, Dan. Yeah. Uh, so I'll pick Jetpack comments and you pick Discuss mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see who wins at the end of the day there with you go. Uh, site speed. <laughs> Folks, comment below. Tell yes. us which one you like better. I want to win. So Discuss, uh, yes. Discuss, 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 Discuss. That's right. There you go. Uh, and with that, we will say thanks for watching the show. If you have any other comments, do leave them below. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. You want to hit 10,000 fans. We launched a new free WordPress theme called Minimize. Go ahead and find that in the WordPress repo, repo. Uh, or on SiliconStudio.com WordPress themes. Uh, Till next time, thanks everybody. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.